and asked a question. Wait, the guy with the biceps is pointing at his other buddy now. This guy over white. Say that again? Oh yeah. <laughs> Secu security? Yes. <laughs> it really I, like honestly, yeah, yeah. there's no there's no <laughs> time to order to it. Just kind of whoever's willing to speak first. Sometimes people don't want to talk because you want to know what somebody else says. A lot of times I'll question mark something like I'm iffy about it, and if everybody can kind of. Seth's that, one of the people that you can kind of woo to the dark side, or like almost trade something with uh, to get it to go through. Because if I love something, then there are really times that Seth will get excited and stand up and give the whole pitch, and all three of us are just like, no. no. <laughs> and I just gotta sit down. And sometimes these sketches go through like, you know, six and seven, eight drafts just to convince that one last person or something. Like, please, pass this, it's funny! Sometimes well, Kev, it goes, sometimes it doesn't. Kev, you and I, you and I actually broke off on the uh, Bob the, Barker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen the Bob Barker with Snoop Dogg sketch? Yeah. 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 So Kevin wrote that sketch, and then he and I took off. Like nobody else wanted to work on it anymore. And Kevin and I actually went in another room for a couple of days and just worked on making that sketch good. And then at the last minute, Snoop Dogg called and was like, "Oh yeah, I'll do your robot chicken." <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Like Couldn't awesome. Believe it. It was awesome. Woman in the black. Next event. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're doing actually a couple of we're doing a freshman signing uh, later in the day. Come by there, we'll be able to take a picture. Uh, blonde woman right here. I'm gonna let you do it. You do it well. I probably should have been doing this the whole time. I'm just sitting over there listening to these guys. I'm just like kicking back. All well, right? Zach Owen from Toy Fair Magazine, in case you guys don't know. Nobody's allowed to ask me any questions. I'll be in the wizard booth all weekend. There's a TCT panel tomorrow. That's a little plug there. Alright, are you in the morning? <laughs> Do you guys actually pay your guest stars to come on? Or uh -oh. like yeah, I have yet to see a check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now hold on, Donald. That's because you have a business manager and account and we send the checks directly to them. Yes, they get so paid I, in circus peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> but the pink kind, not the white ones. <laughs> What do you got? <laughs> Where do you get the toys? How dare you? Oh, you what, a, what a shameless <laughs> plug. <laughs> what a shame. Do you guys have a booth today? Uh, the friend, the friend of the show. Just Hugh, yeah. do you want to talk about the acquisition you of your toys? Talk about what your job is. I buy the toys. I get a list of toys they need and I go buy them. Uh, the gentleman has a shop called Blash in the Past and see. Uh, in the valley that we go to... But you, you don't undersell yourself. Where no one else knows I what the don't hell know. How to oversell myself. Well, no, okay, so I went to school for 12 years. <laughs> Sometimes 48 hours straight, no sleep of buying toys. I, uh, I have three degrees in buying toys. <laughs> but there are, there are times when I will call Q and I'm like, Q, uh, we need the, the media comment 5 Megatron, the silver one. And he'll be like, got it. Yeah. Let's just go get it. Nice. Whereas if you ask somebody else, you're like, no, 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 I need the, uh, I need the, uh, oh, what were we talking about? Just the, I need the, uh, the split seconds. You gotta find me, but the, uh, but only the Honda McLean split seconds. And you need somebody who knows what you're talking about. I know what he's talking about. <laughs> and I buy it. Hugh, wow. do you collect toys? Toys? I, I used to. I have a full storage unit full of toys, right? My wife really wants me to get rid of. <laughs> Is this interesting? <laughs> Wait, you have, you have a storage unit full of toys? I have a storage, Seth and I share a storage unit full of toys. In, in my defense, my section of the shared storage unit occupies about four square feet. My section is a little bigger than that. I, uh, in 1999, I ordered a pizza, a New York style pizza with Darth Maul on the cover and I needed yes. to keep that box. Grease and all. <laughs> and that's only one of the highlights of that was that was a good moment in like 2005 when I realized you still had that box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to my other friend who's a wedding gift. It's a, <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna do this. This is what is happening. Wait, I see a I see a child over here. Yes, you sir, with your hand up. Well, the truth is, dude, I tried to animate. Uh, myself, I'm yes, terrible at it. I'm really, really bad at it. It's a very, it's a very difficult skill to become uh, good at because uh, it requires so much patience over time and a lot of pre-planning. Um, neither of which I'm, I'm good at. So, so I tried to make a character uh, wet his pants. 
and um, it worked out horribly. It worked out horribly. <laughs> and Donald's actually going to start animating for us. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait, no, wait, hold on. Um, I'm not going to... I would, I would love to animate for Robot Chicken, it, and I thought that... You know, it would be very, uh, it would be something that would be kind of, you know, easy because it was something that I did as a kid. And this is an art form. This isn't, this is like, this isn't, this isn't, it isn't easy. All the way from, and I know this because I worked in the puppet shop, all the way from puppet making. This is something that, you know, the stuff that you see on screen is a lot of work from a lot of people. So, uh, for me to say, I'm, yeah, I'll animate next season is BS. <laughs> Chris Calvi right here did the walkers in the Star Wars sketch. We can only take uh, one more question, then we've got something to show you, but uh, one last question. The gentleman all the way in the back there in the orange shirt, orange t-shirt. One more time. Come up front and say it loud. Yeah, we're going to make you work for it. Yeah. you got to project, man. Take your time. But look at look at the slow, <laughs> intentful. Is anybody else here the good, the bad, the ugly thing right now? Look at my man. But look at my man with the Lantern Society belt going. Like, <laughs> I, I like this. I like this. All right, what do you need to know? Would, would we do a Halo sketch? You know, we did in our first season uh, a comparative analysis between the limitations of Donkey Kong and the excellence of Halo. By, by having a Halo team complete the mission that Mario was unable to. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, that said, we're going to kind of leave you with uh, a little bit of uh, Robot Chicken. Uh, this is a collection of some of our favorite sketches, uh, and it also includes, I think, two that will start debuting, uh, two sketches that are going to start debuting, I think, August 31st. So uh, we hope you like it. it. And, uh, and thank you guys.